Thank you for joining me back here today on the Old Apostles Way. I hope that you have uh, chosen this and, and that you're following me out on Facebook and you have my channel over on YouTube. Please, if you haven't done that, I'd like to ask you to do that. We've been talking this week about uh, the attributes of being a child of God. We talked about being a child of God, being royalty, the power and authority, and how we have freedom. Now today I'm going to talk to you about being blessed. Being blessed. There was an old song we used to sing says, I am blessed, I am blessed. Every day that I live, I am blessed. From when I wake up in the morning till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. And truly we are. If we walk in the Spirit of Christ, we automatically reap the blessings of God. You don't have to pray for them. You don't have to ask for them. You don't have to work for them. You just are walking in the blessings of God. Your blessings were paid for at Calvary, and the blessings are ours. They belong to me, and they belong to you, and they belong to every child of God. Every single one. Jeremiah 17 and 7 put it like this. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, in whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh, nor her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful of the years of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. In other words, that tree, you're going to be like a tree that's always green, always bearing fruit, never has to worry about the drought, never has... That's the true way a child of God can walk. That's one of the greatest blessings that there is of walking in God. And you're just blessed, bled with healing, blessed with deliverance, blessed with, with prosperity, blessed with everything that Bible said. Every need, the Bible said, is going to be taken care of. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to put on, what you're going to wear, where you're going to live. Don't worry about a shelter. God will provide those needs according to His riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Every need you have will be supplied. Those are the blessings of God. And then God, the greatest blessing, is found in the fact that we are forgiven. David wrote it like this in the 32nd Psalm in the first verse. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Isn't that the most beautiful thing in the world? Everything you've done in the past is covered with the blood of Christ. Jesus is not going to remember it. It's never going to remember it. It's, if it was written in the books of, of life, it's covered with the blood. It's inked out with the blood. That's exactly what it is. You know, the Bible declares 287 times that we are blessed. 287 times that we are blessed. And you know what? Every one of them belongs to you. Every one of those 287 times that Jesus said, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. We say around our church, somebody says, how are you doing? Blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. Amen. Because we are. We're favored because we're children of God. And we're blessed because we are heirs and join heirs with Christ Jesus. Isn't that the most beautiful thing that you ever heard of? So I want you to walk in the blessing. I want you to live in the blessing. All you got to do is stay full of the Holy Ghost. All you got to do is get the Holy Ghost and start walking with Him and living with Him and just see what God does. Amen. I want to pray right now that blessings would be poured out on you. God, roll back the windows of heaven and pour them out right now. Father, I pray for all my viewers today. I pray, God, that you would reach into their lives and let them visually see your blessings working in their life. Your blessings of protection, of provision, of healing, and, and deliverance, and all those blessings working daily in their lives. Open up their eyes and their understanding to know that they're children of God, and this is just being a part of the heritage that receive because they are your child. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God bless you today. Thank you for watching.